Good evening, welcome to another episode of uh, Journey to Dreads, with just starring Charlie Black, which is myself. Um, yeah, this is episode 6, so the date, anyway, in any case, it's looking at the calendar. I always mm and ah, because I don't script these things, I should just tell you that right off the cuff. I kind of just turn my camera on and roll with it, and then just kind of improv, so I apologize for that. But it is February 26th, 2015. Now, usually, or the way the format has been, I usually will do a retwist, and then I'll do a video, or just before a retwist, I'll do a video. But it's actually been a week. And uh, in this video, in terms of information, I just want to tell you that I've been, in terms of expectations and in terms of articles that I've been reading, I've been kind of fast-tracking the truth in terms of how my hair is evolving and now when my hair my hair is constantly changing and doing different things I'm realizing based on the timeline um, and based on others experience right this is what's to be expected so if you've been following me and watching my videos you'll realize that and I've been doing like um, comb curls and stuff like that and just twists and, and uh, I didn't really do a double standard dread uh, twist with wax until technically September 2014. Being February, this is five months, five months process. Now, usually with all the websites that I've gone to and such, um, they say you really start to notice progress at six months. And I thought that I was ex the things that I was supposed to be noticing six months into it, I was noticing at three and four months. I was completely wrong. So, now the frizziness is happening. Now the hair is is really starting to tighten on its own. And I just wanted to share that information with my followers so they can have an idea. If you, I mean, if you're dreading on your own, what to expect. Um, now, when I started, when I started, I guess five months ago, technically, um, I had a package of like uh, three wave caps, or whatever, that I would go to sleep with. And that was imperative to the growth of my hair because when my when my hair was really young, if I had went to sleep without a wave cap when I woke up, pretty much the twist investment would be gone. Now I guess over time and stuff like that, those kind of products deteriorate, they break down, they rip, they go with the garbage. I haven't replaced them. The only reason why I'm bringing that up now is because <clears throat> I did my hair last week, last week Wednesday, which would have been, I, and my eyes are shifting because I'm looking at the calendar, uh, the 19th of February. I've gone a whole week without using any kind of sleep cap or anything, and this is the process of my hair. That's living proof that my hair is definitely locking, right? Um, yeah. Uh, I mean, when I shower, I still use a dread cap. I still have a shower schedule and stuff like that in terms of washing it. I should say wash schedule, not shower schedule, because I shower, you know, twice daily. But, um, yeah, um, it's definitely locking. Because now when I go to sleep, and, and it's the little things like that. Like, when you go to sleep and you notice, hey, I don't, I don't need a cap or whatever the case may be to sleep on, you know? Um, and my hair is still... It's, it's definitely locking and you know when I show up now to the salon and see my, my stylist she's not upset with me saying okay you know what we have to redo this one we have to redo that one because it's untwisting or it's coming loose or it's undone she's actually just kind of happy with the process the other thing too that um, in the five months they've noticed that I've kind of noticed but I didn't really get excited about my hair is getting longer <laughs> So you'll notice that the growth is growing very, very quickly. And, and yeah, like the little things, like I wear a suit to work, so when I put my jacket on, I feel like my collar's standing. That's actually my dreads tickling, you know, the, the, the back of the hair is on my neck, et cetera, et cetera. I don't know. Um, yeah, a, a summary of this video in terms of just quickly kind of touching base with you. Five months in, it's, it's locking and you know just progress I mean I'm not and like I said in the last video I'm not going to the stylist every three weeks now it's once a month you know and now in terms of the change I'm not going to bed with um, a dread cap you know to keep it to keep it down and keep it in order 
I don't know if I should get another one to kind of prevent the frizziness, but like uh, in the articles that I've been reading, frizziness is going to happen because my hair is still young and it's still evolving. I love it. Um, that's the update for February. It's cold as hell in Canada. I can't wait for the summertime. You know? And, uh, yeah. Uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Like, uh, like I said, thanks for watching. Share with your friends. I'm trying to get a following going. Um, comment. Ask questions. No one's really asked me any kind of questions yet, but this is six videos deep. Um, I want to be able to answer questions based on my personal experience. Like I said, I'm not a specialist or presumed to know it all. It's just kind of like a trial and error kind of thing. Um, yeah. My questions for you is, now that it's locking, should I continue using the wax? Because I'm using wax every time. I go and see the specialist, or should I switch to gel? Anybody who's further down their path and might have an opinion as to my question, please, uh, please help or just uh, give a little insight. In any case, I hope all is everyone is doing well, and we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care.